Okay, so our lesson goal today is squaring thirds. Uh, now, you can see our three examples here, one, two, and three, are uh, squaring thirds. Basically, we're going to take a third and we're going to square it. You can see the square up there. So root six in brackets and then we're squaring whatever that is. Now, square root and squared are opposites. They're uh, the same as plus and minus, they're opposites of each other. And multiply and divide are opposites of each other. Square and square root are opposites of each other. So if you square a square root, what you're essentially doing is getting rid of it. Um, so the square of the square root of 6, or the square root of 6 squared is equal to just plain old 6. Uh, so it's a really, really, uh, well at least this question is really, really simple. Uh, it does get slightly more complicated when we look at these other questions here. Let's take another look at this one. Okay, so this says 2 times root 5 and then all of it is squared. Okay, so what it's really saying, when you square something, you're multiplying it by itself. Uh, so let's take a look at what this looks like. It looks like 2 root 5 times 2 root 5. Okay, uh, now once we're here, just need to remember something about multiplication. Multiplication, it doesn't matter what order you do things in. For example, 2 times 3 is 6, but 3 times 2 is also 6. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20, but so is 5 times 4. So the point I'm making is multiplying, whatever order you do it in, it really doesn't matter. This says 2 times root 5 times 2 times root 5. I'm just going to change the order that that's happening in. I'm going to put the 2's together and the root 5's together. So it's going to be 2 times 2 times root 5 times root 5. Okay. Now that we've got this, we can see that we've got our whole numbers here and we've got our thirds here. 2 times 2 is easy enough, that's 4. Now root 5 times root 5. Now that really just means root 5 squared and from this question here we know that root of something squared is equal to itself. So root 5 squared is going to be 5. So this is equal to 4 and this is equal to 5. Once we finish it off, 4 times 5 will be equal to 20. Okay, I know that's a bit complicated so I'll do one more so we can see how it works. 4 root 3 squared. Now remember that can be rewritten as 4 root 3 times 4 root 3. Now remember, multiplication we can do in any order, so I'm going to put the 4's together and I'm going to put the root 3's together. 4 times 4 times root 3 times root 3. Okay, so all the 4's, they went there. The root 3's went there. Now 4 times 4 is 16. Now root 3 times root 3 is the same as root 3 squared, which just gives us 3. Okay, so that 4 times 4 was 16. Root 3 times root 3 just gives us 3. Finally, 16 times 3. Don't bother trying to do it in your head. Why not use your calculator? That's going to be 48. Okay, so important to note as well, whenever you're squaring a third, your answer is going to be a whole number. There's not going to be a third in the answer if you square a third. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's squaring thirds.